Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I'm so glad you're joining us today. And this is my dear friend, Dr. Gene Huddle. He is just uh, one of my mentors and one of my favorite people in the whole world. I, I'm so glad to be with you today. Thanks. And you're, you've been coaching us a little bit today. Yeah. And we just finished the session. But I wanted to ask you about, you introduced me to the idea of SMART goals. Right. And I just blogged about that. And coming to this time of year, getting ready for New Year, yeah. it's time for me. Man, I'm putting out there, my team's putting out goals. Uh, what is a SMART goal? Okay. And do we need goals? Yeah. Why is it important? So, yeah, like they say, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we need goals. And uh, for most of us, you know, we sometimes set goals, maybe New Year's resolutions, we call them sometimes, but they don't often turn out to be goals that are actually met. And so then we start talking about, well, what then is an effective, successful goal? And so we use the acronym SMART to describe the characteristics of a really good, powerful goal. And it's kind of simple, but it's, it's really useful. That makes it more memorable. It does. Yeah. So we say, first of all, it has to be specific. What exactly do you want to have accomplished? It has to be very much to the end result that you want. Specific, S. It has to be measurable. How are you going to know when you've reached your goal? If you have a weight goal, for example, how are you going to measure your weight on a regular basis? How many pounds do you actually want to gain? Or lose. <laughs> Usually lose. I'm on the lose uh, side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not too many of us want to gain weight uh, these days. Is it achievable? Is it something I can do? Now sometimes we say, well, um, whatever you really want to do, you can do. But in a, in a way, you have to, I can't say I'd like to lose 50 pounds if I know that I can't or shouldn't. Is it achievable? Is so, it attainable? And that's a really good one, too, because a lot of people say, uh, whatever you can conceive, you can achieve. But there is more to that than just saying, I'm going to be a millionaire this year and I've only made 100 bucks last year. Well, that's right. And then, depending on whether it's a personal goal or an organizational goal, is it realistic? In other words, is that a goal that's actually going to make your life better, make the organizational mo organization more effective? And that's the R. Stronger? The R, yeah. Okay. Is it realistic? So we could say, well, I'd like to, I'd like to try to get uh, on the first ship to the moon this year. And you say, well, you know, that's not really very realistic. <laughs> so we have to be careful that we're setting goals that actually are realistic. Um, and so all those things, the, um, uh, the, the, and then we need the T. What's the T? The T. The T is time-based. Hmm. So I might say, uh, my goal is to. Um, to lose 20 pounds, but I don't set a time on it. So I get to the end of the year and I say, well, I didn't really mean this year. I meant some time. And so it's usually time-based. So uh, when is it going to be? Like uh, John F. Kennedy said, when he set the goal of going to the moon, he said, by the end of the decade, I would we'd like to go to, the, go to the moon. Well, in fact, we did go to the moon by the end of the decade. He wasn't around, yeah. but we did. And so when you look at uh, great examples of SMART goals, you can see why we say, if you're going to set a goal, then have some of these characteristics that, that, are, that are mentioned in, in the SMART. Um, they better be there. So I, I've been I'm blogging a little bit about goal setting coming into the new year. Uh, for people personally, we need to do it corporately as well. Uh, Gene, how many goals do you think somebody should set? Because I see people sometimes setting 20 goals who've yeah. never set a goal. Yes. And somebody, sometimes they're not doing enough goals. What would be a good balance? For me, um, two or three goals are actually the most that I would want to try to take on. Because I recognize that when I set a goal, it's going to take a lot of energy uh, over and above my daily life and what I already have to do in life. So setting a goal and realizing it means that I have to go the extra mile with my energy and effort. Now, if I have a number of goals that I'm working on, then the chances of my reaching all those goals, given the amount of energy I have, it's reduced. So for me, uh, better to set two or three goals and reach those, and then set some others later. So as people are setting those two, three, four goals this year, what, would you, what advice would you give them for helping them come up with the priority of those goals uh, versus the other 10 that they thought they needed? 
That's a really good question. Maybe we should do that on another blog sometime. Yes, that would be really good because it really means that we have to, first of all, look really clearly at what's most important to us. Mm. And sometimes we'll set goals for things that are really pretty far down the list of things that are really important. You know, is it family? Is it, is it uh, our church? Is it our, our work? Is it personal, physical? I mean, all these issues have to come to play in the question of, well, given my, the things that are most important to me, uh, are, am I setting goals around those things? Do you want to share with us maybe one of your goals this year? Um, well, I haven't really decided on those. Okay, we well, still have a few weeks left getting to 15, <laughs> or 2015. That's right. But I think this is a good time of the year to do it that. Is. Because we can reflect on the, la uh, on the year past. It helps us to remember that we're not here forever and that we need to redeem the time. I mean, uh, God wants us to redeem our time. And He wants us to be smart. He wants us to be focused. Mm -hmm. And so for all those reasons, it's a great time of the year to be setting goals. It's great, and I know you're going to help me do mine even. You walk me through that in Calvary. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, you're quite And welcome. we want to help other leaders, too, yeah. to do that with their organizations. That's so important. God bless you, Gene. Thanks for being a part of my life and coaching and mentoring. I love you, man. It's a joy. All right. God bless you guys.